in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the days readings it's the 25th of january friday in the second week of ordinary time and today we celebrate the feast of the conversion of saint paul the apostle also today we end week of prayer for christian unity or christian unity octave and in india it is marked as national voters day let's listen to the reading the first reading of the day from acts of the apostles chapter 22 verses 3 to 16 in those days paul said to the people in jerusalem i am a jew born at tarsus in cilicia but brought up in this city at the feet of gamaliel educated according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers being zealous for god as you all are this day i persecuted this way to the death binding and delivering to prison both men and women as the high priest and the whole council of elders bear me witness from them i received letters to the brethren and i journeyed to damascus to take those also who were there and bring them in bonds to jerusalem to be punished as i made my journey and drew near to damascus about noon a great light from heaven suddenly shone about me and i fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me saul saul why do you persecute me and i answered who are you lord and he said to me i am jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting now those who were with me saw the light but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me and i said what shall i do lord and the lord said to me rise and go into damascus and there you will be told all that is appointed for you to do and when i could not see because of the brightness of that light i was led by the hand by those who were with me and came into damascus and one ananias a devout man according to the law well spoken of by all the jews who lived there came to me and standing by me said to me brother saul receive your sight and in that very hour i received my sight and saw him and he said the god of our fathers appointed you to know his will to see the just one and to hear a voice from his mouth for you will be a witness for him to all men of what you have seen and heard and now why do you wait rise 
and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on his name the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear brother and sister it's a nice opportunity to check out on the progress of our christmas or new year resolutions we made many resolutions right today we should be grateful to a model of a 180 degree conversion saint paul 180 degree conversion we have another example in the life of saint augustine it was a radical conversion from sin to a life of grace when taken seriously some of our decisions can also lead to a complete radical transformation it strikes me that we have these conversion moments as well we are stopped turned around reoriented sometimes it is a sudden awareness a flash that enlightens us and we exclaim how dull headed i was to take this direction but that doesn't happen ordinarily and may not be the regular feature of every genuine conversion so take heart all conversions are not quick and complete the way that we think of saint pauls often we have gone tepid in our relationship with god what is said to the church in laodosia in the book of revelations may be applicable to us john writes i know your works you are neither cold nor hot i wish that you were either cold or hot so because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot i am about to spit you out of my mouth god wants to rekindle his gift that is within us maybe the baptismal grace we received is lying dormant and untapped some christian faith traditions even emphasize the pauline blinded by light moment of conversion was not being born again at a particular time and place instantly it was rather a recognized slow patient conversion over a lifetime of prayer ritual and good habits that he had acquired as a zealous jew sometimes we are in a self defeating pattern for years without realizing it over a period of time we get tired and bored to continue in that way finally we decide that we don't want to be doing it anymore i believe the good news is that god can and does work both ways sometimes with the same person whatever the pace or the intensity all conversions are precious before the sight of god and who among us can deny its need 
all together in our life we all need conversion we all need another important part of the conversion story of paul is how jesus identifies himself to paul he says that he is the one paul is persecuting he completely identifies with his people pope francis spoke about this in a talk he gave on the body of christ he said saint paul's experience speaks to us of how profound the union between us christians and christ really is when jesus ascended into heaven he did not leave us orphans but through the gift of the holy spirit our union with him became even more intense the second vatican council says that by communicating his spirit christ mystically constitutes as his body those brothers of his who are called together from every nation lumen gentium number 7 dear brothers and sisters let us ask god pope francis says help us to be members of the body of the church even more deeply united to christ help us not to cause the body of the church to suffer through our conflicts our divisions our selfishness help us to be living limbs bound one to the other by that unique force love which the holy spirit pours into our hearts it gets very deep but it is very simple as members of this body we can ask for the grace to grow in a sense of feeling sensing appreciating that when any one of us suffers the whole of us suffer because we are connected we are connected of course this is difficult to experience while we feel alienated angry threatened by one of my brothers and sisters but it all becomes possible and makes sense when i let myself be loved experience conversion and receive a new mission a new purpose let us pray my dear brother and sister today we pray for chris dies from ahmedabad gujarat lata bai from bengaluru the child to whom we are educating with your help child of the blind parents and these are celebrating their birthdays we wish them happy birthday and we pray for their intentions and also the one benefactor who sponsored the day for lata bai it's also the uh death anniversary of roshan norona from pambur may the lord grant him eternal rest and also we pray for the departed soul of melrick anthony de souza from valencia may the lord grant him the beatific vision and i told you today is the last day of christian unity octave we pray the prayer that jesus prayed that they all may be one be realized in our lifetime and that we all work for christian unity and as you are aware world youth day is going on in panama pope francis is present there 
we pray for all the youth gathered there and in india it is marked as national voters day the general election is coming near in the month of may may we all prepare for that election especially by praying and also registering our names in the voter list and confirming whether our names are there or not let's pray now set me on fire o lord as you did to saint paul and make me healthy and vibrant member of the body of christ amen may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister wish you all a happy feast of the conversion of saint paul and this is father steven prayer carmelite priest if you have any problem in getting this audio in time and if you wish to receive them directly from our hand on the previous night itself so that you can prepare well when you attend the daily mass kindly whatsapp me your full name and place and my number is 9481263229 9481263229 that's all for today and don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts See you tomorrow bye bye